Good morning, dear students. Today we shall begin with the third part of the chapter People as Resource. Prior to this, we have already covered the introductory part of the chapter, as well as the story of Sakal and Vilas has been discussed. So let us continue. First of all, you need to understand what is the meaning of an economy. So an economy is an area of production, consumption, and distribution of goods and services by different individual. So an economy is an area or a region or a country where various activities are performed by different individual. That activity can be of uh, production or consumption or even distribution. So uh, an economy is basically an area. Our country's uh, economy is known as Indian economy. And from this term economy, economics has come up. Economics is basically a social science that studies the activity of production, consumption and distribution uh, performed by different individual in an economy. So from economy, the term economics has come up, which is a subject that studies various activities. Now this economy can be classified into three sectors on the basis of nature of activities that are being performed over here in this uh, economy. So those three sectors are primary, secondary and tertiary. So let us discuss them in detail. First of all, primary sector. This sector includes all such activities that are undertaken by using natural resources such as agriculture, animal husbandry, forestry, fishing, poultry farming, mining, etc. This sector is also known as agriculture and related activities. So under primary sector, all those activities come that are being undertaken by using natural resources. And the uh, most important uh, uh, part of this primary sector is agriculture. Along with this, there are various other activities such as uh, beekeeping, fishing, poultry farming, mining. Even all these activities uh, include uh, using natural resources. So even they come under this uh, category of primary sector. But the major output is of agricultural sector. And that is why this sector is known as agriculture and related activities. Now the second type of sector is secondary sector. This sector includes various manufacturing activities which are performed in uh, factories. It is also known as industrial sector. This sector adds usefulness to the products made by primary sector or other man-made products. So all that activity that is undertaken in factories that comes under secondary sector. That uh, manufacturing activity can be taken up either by using the output of primary sector or by using other man-made products. For example, wheat is an output of primary sector. If that wheat is being used to produce biscuits in uh, factories, then that biscuit will be the output of secondary sector and the raw material that is being used that is uh, that comes from primary sector. In fact, other man-made products can also be used like you can see over here that uh, in a factory car is being made. And to make a car, various components are being assembled. 
so all those individual components all those uh, you know small tools and everything that are man made products which are being assembled to create one product that is car so car is also uh, the product of secondary sector the third sector is tertiary sector these activities generate services for the person engaged in primary and secondary sector services uh, service sector include services like transportation telecommunication banking storage courier services real estate etc it it is also known as service sector now service sector includes the activities or rather the services that are being provided to the individuals engaged in the other two sectors that is primary and secondary sector that service can be of any kind it can be uh, the transportation service or the banking service or a courier service it can be of any kind so this sector mainly provides services to different individual and that is why it is known as service sector over here in this image you can see that various uh, transportation services are being provided uh, like goods are being shipped or it is being carried uh, by uh, an aeroplane or a truck so all these things are uh, the examples of tertiary sector these are the activities that come under tertiary sector now human activities performed in the country in any economy as i told you that there are uh, various kinds of human activities those activities have been uh, categorized into two the first one is economic activities activities performed for pay or profit that is production of goods and services these activities add value to national income it is also known as market activities now economic activities are also known as market activities and the main purpose of these activities are to earn profit either uh, by production of various uh, goods or by production of various services now uh, there is another type of activity that is non economic activity these are also known as non market activities and these include activities for self consumption or self satisfaction so all those activities that are uh, not performed for the purpose of earning money all those activities come under non economic activities such as uh, an individual cleaning their house or uh, visiting a temple or a mother taking care of her child all those are non economic activities because these things are not being done uh, with the purpose of uh, you know earning profit economic activities by men and women due to historical and cultural re reasons there has been a division of labor between men and women women looked after domestic affairs like cooking cleaning housekeeping looking after the children etc men worked in the fields men are paid for their work on the contrary women are not paid for the performance of household work so due to cultural reasons and uh, it has been seen that historically there has been a division of labor there has been a stereotyping of uh, the work that is to be performed by men and women women are expected to uh, perform all the domestic work like cooking and cleaning and everything and men on the contrary are expected to go out and earn money for the 
family whatever work men perform they are being paid they have been paid for that work on the contrary whatever work women perform they are not being paid they have not been paid for any household work education and skill are the major determinant of earning of an individual in the market a majority of women have meager education and skill formation as a result they are paid less as compared to men now uh, this previous part was about uh, the things that have been going on historically whatever has been going on uh, previously but now the scenario is uh, changing now women are going outside to work but since uh, their educational level is negligible their skill formation is negligible they are mostly engaged into unskilled uh, labor and as a result they earn a very less amount of money as compared to the men men uh, are more you know educated and they have got more uh, skill uh, as compared to women most women do not have job securities or other benefits uh, like maternity leave or child care facilities but the scenario has been changing initially they were uh, performing work of an unskilled laborer they were working as domestic uh, maid or cooks but with time women are uh, getting higher education and they are uh, having good quality skills and as a result presently both men and women are being paid equally so today we have studied about the three sectors of an economy that is the primary sector which includes uh, agriculture forestry mining fishing etc after that comes secondary sector which includes production of various goods such as uh, car or biscuits etc the third sector is tertiary sector which is also known as service sector because it provides services to uh, both these sectors after that we saw that there are two types of uh, human activities that is economic activity and non economic activity the activities that are being performed by an individual in order to pay uh, you know in order to uh, earn a certain amount of uh, profit that activity is known as economic activity and the ones that are uh, you know that do not have any motive of earning money those activities are known to be non economic activities initially uh, women used to work in a domestic uh, household and men used to go out and earn money but now the situation is changing both men and women are getting equal uh, kind of education and skill training and as a result they are being treated equally in the society they are being paid at par uh, you know the women are being paid at par with men so these are the assignment questions what are economic activities you need to uh, explain it the second question is explain the three sectors of an economy i'm sure you will be able to do it the third question is how was the division of labor done in the family so they are asking how was the uh, division of labor done initially historically how was it done so you need to write that so that is it that is it for today thank you